two jobs in America. I think that is so exciting. There are nearly two million people already working in energy efficiency. And in Spartanburg, South Carolina, a project called Regenesis is taking an old landfill and turning it into a solar farm. That landfill was a blight and a health threat. It's 250 feet away from a residential neighborhood. Now that same land will generate enough clean, renewable electricity to power 500 homes. So this is what we can do. And I think it's time Washington should back up and support doing more of that. As president, I want us to have 500 million more solar panels installed across America by the end of my first term. And let's generate enough renewable energy to power every home in America within the decade. Let's make our buildings and factories more energy efficient and cut our oil consumption by a third. And we can get there by investing and supporting in cutting-edge research to keep developing cheaper and better clean energy technologies, investing in clean energy infrastructure and advanced manufacturing, putting big partnerships together to community. We can do all of this. are being developed right here in America. We want them manufactured in America and installed in America and putting people to work in America. Isn't Al Gore on the right? Oh my God. And while we do that, let's make sure that our communities are ready for the impacts of climate change that are coming right at us. We need to invest in resilient infrastructure. Now, sometimes that might mean building a seawall. Other times, let's be more creative. Like in New York Harbor, where we're replanting oyster beds to form natural barriers to storm surge. Sometimes we'll overhaul an outdated sewer system to deal with flooding from heavy downpours. In Philadelphia, they're trying something else, green roofs, forest pavements, curbside gardens to help absorb stormwater. And here's something we don't talk enough about. Let's make sure our hospitals can stay open and operational in any kind of disaster. I think I'm about to cheer. <laughs> Look at what Alva clapped. Because sadly, I saw what happened in New York during Hurricane Sandy. Newborns who had been on respirators had to be evacuated down nine flights of stairs in one New York hospital.